Okay, here is a uh, a quick tour of my new Go Box. This is an SKB roto molded for you rack mount box. Okay, so uh, it uh, it has um, handle on the side. It's got a lid on the front and the back. Um, it's got rack mount rails on the front and the back. And let's open it up and take a look. So we have these little latches that uh, come off there and here's the rig so i've built this so i don't need to do anything in the back when i set up so here is uh here's my antenna and there's an antenna connector um, so the antenna connector is made of metal uh, and the lighter weight connectors are made of uh, plastic. So this one, it won't, uh, won't bend over time. Uh, and then the power in, of course, Anderson, and there's a, there's a single Anderson power pole. So these connectors that are in here, uh, there's an Anderson power pole, USB power out, and then just a meter. Um, also up here, I have a speaker tuner, my FTDX10. And hiding up in the back is a uh, uh, is a rig runner. Um, it's a horizontal one, so it, it lies nice and flat. There is a rack shelf, a 2U rack shelf on the bottom, and there's a 1U rack shelf on the top. Okay, and the top rack shelf is upside down, so you've got the maximum amount of physical space. Uh, and the rack shelves are just for attaching all the hardware. So on the top, this is screwed in here, uh, drill holes. Um, some of them can use existing slots or whatever, but most of the time you're just finding somewhere to drill a hole. There's a screw on either side of this. There's two screws up here. Some of them are adjustable, some of them are not. Uh, for the radio, I, I opted to build straps um, out of some aluminum flat bar. Uh, it's an eighth inch thick, inch wide. Um, it, uh, it starts over here, comes up, over, down, and a little leg down there. Okay, So this little leg then screws in uh, to the shelf on the bottom. Um, they have holes on either side to attach to the uh, the holes where the handles go, so it's it's a structural hole. So the the and then it, the strap comes over here. It comes down in between the wall and the radio. The the little strap comes in there. You can see it, and the hole goes all the way through the wall of the shelf, through the strap, and into uh, the the radio. So there's a screw that goes all the way through. So it holds it very securely. Uh, the screws and the straps hold the radio very securely in. So these are mounted securely to this shelf upside down. This is mounted to here. This will eventually get uh, probably just industrial Velcro to put it into place. But the tuners are very, very lightweight. They just have uh, very simple solid gadgets inside. And this, this of course, is a... a oh, who makes this? PowerWorks. This is a PowerWorks... Um, Passive speaker, just the headphone jack cord goes in the back. And this, of course, right now, I may get more formal with this. This is uh, plugged into the back of the radio for digital modes. Okay. So let's take a look, see how it works. Um, obviously, you know, we got a signal and power. So Anderson power pole. And plug in. Okay. Now turn... Now I could plug um, a battery into there. Um, in the future, I could get uh, Epic Power Gate sort of thing to switch between battery and uh, in city power. Um, very flexible when you use things like this. Uh, for now, there's no battery inside. The power is is outside the box. I could, like I said, I could put a battery inside if I want in the future. But for now, I'm gonna I'll turn the power supply on. Okay, once it comes up to speed, um, you'll get a reading. Uh, it says 13.9, that's what I have the power supply set at. 
um, LED for the USB power comes on. So it kind of lets you know it's powered up. So with the power and the signal in place, turn the radio on, and there we go. Okay. And uh, it's late at night, so 80 meters. And the audio comes through. This power works pretty well. There's a rag chew going on earlier. But you can see I've got really good signal. Really good signal. Clear audio. And, uh, of course, this is set to tune. Everything's ready. Just pull the faceplate on. Power. Antenna. There we go. That, that we will will always have will always have the um, the tuner pre-connected uh, USB pre-connected every every all the accessories all all pre-connected we just drop it and plug in the power in the antenna uh, if I go with a battery in the future then all I would have to do is open it up and plug in an antenna. Um, there we go. That's the, that's the go box. Hope you guys like it.